Good morning, everybody. I don't know if you can see me that well. It's kind of dark out, but yesterday we left Salt Lake City, Utah. We had a really great weekend learning, growing um, at this mastermind group that my husband is a part of, or that Dustin is a part of. And we ended up leaving and heading north and we stopped in a place called Pocatello, Idaho. And this is where we stayed. A little bit chilly than we're normal, um, used to being normal too. Um, I think it's like 47 degrees out right now. So um, anyway, we're super excited to finally get back out into nature and to just really take everything in, get away from the city noise for a while. So today our plan is to drive to Yellowstone National Park and we'll begin our journey there. So follow along. Okay, so we're at our first stop. It's called Mesa Falls. It's supposed to be like 115 feet wide and 200 feet deep or 200 feet down. But one thing we wanted to actually share with you guys is we are in Yellowstone National Park or just outside. And we wanted to show you sort of the reason we travel when we do. Cause this is the parking lot. You see all the cars? Alright, so we just stopped to get gas and yesterday Dustin and I stopped at Walmart to stock up on food for this weekend. That way, you know, being up here, we didn't really have to worry about where we were going to get food or, or anything like that. And we really tried to eat healthy on the road. So we stocked up our cooler and we have all sorts of goodies in here. Um, right now I'm going to whip us up some lunch and so we are actually going to have some turkey wraps and we have some fresh vegetables, some hummus, just a couple things to snack on and so while Dustin's doing that I'm going to whip us up some food. Um, I've been wanting to come to this place ever since I was a little girl. 
little story. I grew up in Wyoming, actually, um, and left in 93 or 94 and moved to Nebraska. And I always said from that time that I was going to come back to Yellowstone National Park. And someday, and we are finally here. So, we've got a lot of stuff to store for you. Let's check this place out. All right. We're at Fountain Paint Pots, where they're literally boiling water in the ground. Let's check it out. As you can see, some of the geysers actually run down into the water. And you can see how clear and clean this mountain water is. So we made it to Old Faith. Now we, we wait. wait. <laughs> Well, what did you guys think? Old Faithful was, well, it did not disappoint. No, it was unbelievable. And people are unbelievable. <laughs> people. There was a dude that answered his phone in the middle. He's like, hey, hold on, man. I'm watching Old Faithful. I'll call you back. <laughs> it's just oh. funny how, how some people react um, to things. But anyway, I have been waiting all my life to watch that. And it was absolutely incredible like i can't even express you get the idea you've seen the video we're going to use our trusty i overlander app and try to find a place to park stay for the night we're going to cook up some dinner which we're actually going to have breakfast for dinner i love breakfast um it's a it's kind of chilly here like i said it's it's not what we're used to so a nice hot meal is going to be really nice so we're gonna find where we're gonna stay and chill out for the night. Get settled in. Yeah. Here we go. So on our way to find a camp spot, we came across this place called Gibbon Falls and it immediately caught our attention. So we had to stop. I mean, come on, we're only here once. So we gotta check everything out. All right, are you guys ready for this? I don't think you're ready. Ready? humongous bull elk in town. So this bull elk is mate calling this female elk over here. And they've been all... <laughs> that was so perfect. I don't know how well you can see, but they're literally like 50 yards from us. Um, super cool. Yeah. But not to mention the cat that is behind us. <laughs> Sorry, it got exciting fast. It did. Um, we slept in Yellowstone last night. Yep. We forgot to tell you that we had dinner and we found a spot. <laughs> <laughs> we did. We were kind of exhausted, um, but we woke up this morning, made our breakfast. Well, we made our breakfast last night, but we kind of got it all prepared in the dark this morning. Um, 
But on our way to find our campsite, we found this really cool place called Mammoth Terrace, and we saw the upper portion of it yesterday on our way to our campsite, and today... We're gonna show you the back. So here is what they call Pallet Spring, and this is the bottom half of what we showed you earlier. The crazy thing is, is Tanya and I have done a bunch of cave explo ex exper ex exploration, exploration. <laughs> <laughs> and this literally looks like cave stuff, only it's outside. And it's completely different microorganisms and biomes that grow, mm -hmm. some off of gases, some off of whatever, whatever. It's insane. It's but incredible. It's like a, almost like a step up to the top which if you could see there's a pool at the top and that's what runs yeah, over but you can't never get close to them but the water inside of them pools is like Havasu Falls blue it's mm -hmm. absolutely beautiful absolutely. I think it's my favorite <laughs> to be determined <laughs> So we usually try to start our morning with some sort of movement and we came across this really neat place and decided, let's go take a walk. So um, it was a really beautiful trail with like some rock formations within the steps and just beautiful foliage. And it led us to this magnificent place. A waterfall. <laughs> Can you guys believe that we would find another waterfall? <laughs> well, we did. We did. It's about a half mile in. It'll be a half mile out, obviously. Uh, just quick, but very, very pretty. But one, I have to, oh. one thing I want to bring up, we are in bear country now. And the I have warnings, to admit, the I was warnings scared are everywhere. shitless. <laughs> so we are mindful. We are paying attention. Very but we vigilant. are definitely in bear country. And I'm nervous grizzly hell. bears are no joke. <laughs> So, we're gonna run back to the bus. All right, so we had a really lengthy conversation conversation on the way back to the bus from the fall that we just showed you. And I kind of wanted to share it with you because I, I had mentioned that I was scared shitless to go on that trail and knowing that it was a mile, mile and a half? Half mile. Half mile. One way. Um, that even though it was a half mile one way, that I was still scared because it labels everywhere, bear country, bear country, be prepared, blah, blah, blah. And so we really talked about like, why, why am I scared of something that I've never even experienced before? And it brings back to, you know, the, the live event that we went to in Salt Lake City. And we heard this guy, Jesse, talk about, you know, fear and, you know, like, why be scared of something that you've never even encountered before? Like, it's not your experience. You didn't experience it yet. You know, you maybe heard other people's experiences, but you haven't experienced it. So why, like, why, I guess, put judgment on something that you haven't even... How can I be afraid of a bear attack that I've never been attacked yet? Right. How can I be afraid of, you know, whatever, whatever, mm -hmm. if it's never happened? Or why do we immediately put fear on something mm -hmm. that we have zero experience at? Just right. because a movie showed you, or the government told you, or your mm. friend said, or your priest showed you, like, everything in perspective, mm. realistically, how can we be afraid of a grizzly attack that's never been done? Right. And yes, I'm not saying being unprepared, mm. hear me out here, but actually, literally, like, pit in your stomach, scared shitless is her exact words <laughs> of something that she's never experienced. Right. I've just seen on a movie, a scary bear attack and, you know, this video of this guy in Montana that actually happened. But other than that, like, I know nothing. I know nothing about grizzlies other than, you know, how to be prepared, you know, if you do encounter one. And, you know, he brought up a really good point as to if we spent our entire life being scared of something that we don't know like scared of something unknown or that we, someone else told us right but we haven't experienced it yet we would miss out on so many great opportunities so yeah. if i would have went off of the fear of oh shit, there's grizzlies out there i better not go out into the bear country for this half mile hike to this waterfall i would have never got to witness it and i thought it was a really pretty trail it was a beautiful waterfall and i would have missed out on that so my question to you is 
what are you missing out on because you're afraid of or uh, scared of or, or whatever, but it's something that you've never experienced. It's just something you've heard about mm -hmm. or dreamt up. Like we can dream stuff up. We're dreamers. So, right. you know, like she's, she, she's immediately thinking like, I'm getting attacked by a grizzly <laughs> bear. Like, get out of here. It's insane. Yeah. So what are, as a society, what are we afraid of mm -hmm. that's never even happened? Think about that. Thanks guys. This. Woo! Wow. What a sight. This is called Kelsite Spring. And to be honest with you, if I could show you the road, 99% of people drive right by here. Yeah. And it is absolutely breathtaking. That is amazing. Little fun story for you. <laughs> so we just came to this place called Geyser, Norris Geyser Basin, which it's a steamboat geyser that eventually like it erupts and they say like the particles and minerals from it can actually damage your vehicle. So they always put out a caution for that. But the funny part is we just walked a quarter of a mile down the wrong trail. <laughs> so now we're turning around and we're heading the right way. Okay. We think, we'll let you know. All right, so we are now on the back basin loop. And I think if I read it right, it's a 1.6 mile loop. So we'll get to see all of these different geysers. at our campsite tonight we paid for a parking or a camping spot in the Madison campground and there's Dustin ready to already go roll and explore what are we gonna go do love firewood. yeah we're we gonna build a fire tonight fire, fire. Campground shenanigans. <laughs> so we've got ourselves this awesome fire. Thank you, my love. It took me a while to get it going. <laughs> but let me tell you, once you get a campfire going, honestly, the conversation, the attitude, and the mood all change around a campfire. Exactly. So we've been having some deep conversation. For sure. Um, and I really enjoy these. You know, we, we have these once in a while. And, you know, we're really just kind of getting down to, like, talking more about our future and the things that we want to do, the things we want to kind of just dive deeper into. Um, and a lot of it's diving into us. For sure. You know, it's not always other things or other stuff. It's sometimes we just have to figure some stuff out with us. Mm -hmm. So I really cherish these types of, mo of moments, you know, these memories that we make. And, you know, they don't come very often. Um, you know, sometimes it's easy to get caught up in the day-to-day -day stuff that you forget to have moments like these. But we actually have zero cell phone reception <laughs> right now since like 4.15 p.m. And it's perfect. And I'm not mad one bit. No, sometimes you need that. Sometimes you just need that little escape to step away, 
kind of just reflect on what's going on in your life and, you know, really just think about everything you have, what it is that you want. And honestly, while I stand here, a fire, my bride, and my bus, show them my bus. Woo! Look at that beauty. We love that thing. In a national park is honestly all I need right now. Absolutely. So, with that, I just wanted to share this little moment with you because I'm truly enjoying this moment. And sometimes just take a step back, think about what's going on in your life and, and where it is that you want to be. So with that, I think we're going to end the night. Um, we decided that we're going to do this in a series, which you'll probably know that by now. So um, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button. Um, if you enjoy following our journey, please hit the subscribe button. And please feel free to share some love. Put some comments below and let us know what you think. With that, we'll see you guys in the next one.